गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल वेलकम टू सकल विजय यूट्यूब चैनल ओके स्टिल जॉइनिंग लोकेश गोपालम श्री नारल वेंकटेश्वर लू जानवी श्रेयना राचकोंडा लक्ष्मी प्रिया स्वाति सिंह चंदना अश्वर रेड्डी श्रीदेवी ओके राइट योगेश कुमार प्रीति लोकेश यस गोपालम श्री हरिशा कार्तिक अर्षिता राइट हरिशा राइट सुमित रेड्डी ओके आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर वन इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन टू यू सो Please do concentrate on the concept itself only and the problems. So don't chart uh, the personal uh, issues in the chart box. Better regarding to the problem. So you need to discuss. That's only. So our discussion should be confined to the our subject matter itself only. And moreover, one thing. Uh, may God bless you, Harsha Sri Harsha. Okay. चलम शास्त्री गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग श्री हर्षा अभी ओके ओके नाउ ओके लीव इट नाउ ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ ऑल एक्चुअली आई विशुड श्री हर्षा बींग हिज बर्थडे इवेन सचिन तेंडुलकर बर्थडे आल्सो टुडे वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग द ग्रेट लेजेंड क्रिकेटर ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो आई थिंक इफ एनीबडी uh deviate this chart rules uh, our ground rules so he will be uh, kept aside okay right right the sound level will be increased later don't worry okay clear sound now okay let us start now so change of axis so one question here why do we need change of axis this is the first question anybody anybody give the answer why do we need change of axis why do we need change of axis why do we need change of axis okay uh, let me give equation equation 2 any curve equation 2 the locus of a uh, locus equation to the locus is a curve so whose equation is generally whose equation is in the form of in the form of s equals to ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 so we know that 
so that means actually now in order to study the properties of any curve any curve means it may be pair of straight lines pair of straight lines or parabola i will write the shape or ellipse or hyperbola or rectangular hyperbola in order to study the properties of these two this equation contains how many terms 1 2 3 4 5 6 terms it contains so as it contains 6 terms means it is somewhat difficult to study the properties of the any curve any curve so in order to actually without changing its identity we need to change this equation we need to convert it so that means if you are able to convert this form ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus something c1 is equal to 0 now how many terms are there 1 2 3 4 terms are there otherwise this can be converted like this ax square plus by square plus c1 equals to 0 or it may be converted to 2hxy plus c1 equals to 0 in three forms either first form or second form or third form the same equation can be changed so with the help of change of axis so that's why we need the change of axis so that means we need change of axis means in order to put this one actually here first two degree terms have been eliminated in order to put this form here also first two degree terms has been actually first two degree terms has been put aside even actually here in this case second degree terms also have been eliminated so in order to eliminate first two degree terms or in order to eliminate second degree terms we need we require change of axis change of axis so that means now so let's have a discussion how many types of change of axis is there so that means let us discuss we have types of types of change of axis change of axis or this may be called transformation of axis transformation of axis transformation of axis so we have the first one is translation of axis translation of axis second one we have rotation of axis rotation of axis and next one is general transformation general transformation general transformation means translation of axis is followed by rotation of axis or rotation of axis is followed by uh, translation of axis both will be included in general transformation generally we discuss the translation of axis and rotation of axis only but according to the uh, competitive entrance examination sometimes only we discuss about the general transformations so that means let us concentrate on here translation of axis and rotation of axis so now what is the translation of axis so so now the translation of axis let's have a discussion of translation of axis see for example this is the original axis this is the original axis understood now so for example here Okay, you draw a line segment here. 
here also you draw it now okay So now, if you observe this one, if you observe this one, here this origin is shifted to this point, shifted to this point. So now, you say this is capital X, this is say something point, you can say A point, say this is capital Y, capital y so now the new axis is formed that means actually here what happens now here so without changing the directions of the axis see the direction of the original axis like this new axis also same so the direction of the y axis same as the original axis so that means actually if you just translate this origin to this point so, without changing the directions of the original axis, that transformation is called translation of axis. Translation of axis. Understood now? So, that means translation of axis means, so we shift the origin to the point in the plane without changing the directions of the original axis. Then the transformation is called, that is, translation of axis. Right. So now, first one is translation of translation of axis. So what is the translation of axis means? Shifting the shifting the origin origin to any point in the plane in the plane without changing the changing the directions directions of the axis is called translation of axis translation of axis so that means now let us come to again this point so, for example, you take a point here. For example, you take a point here. See, what are the coordinates of this point now actually here? The coordinates of this point will be, see, the coordinates of the, these points will be, See, this is 12 and 6. This is 12 comma 6. In accordance with the, this is the old axis. This is old axis. Okay. Old axis. So, this is a new axis. Now, this 12 comma 6 will change in accordance with the new axis. Understood now. So, that means now these coordinates are 12 comma 6 are with respect to the original axis. That means now here 12 comma 6 is with respect to with respect to old system. But according to the according to the this system, new system this coordinates must change. 
now here actually a point what are the coordinates of a coordinates of a are actually here 8 comma 2 8 comma 2 so now with respect to this one now we need to find out here see 1 2 3 1 2 that means this point becomes like this 3 comma 2 with respect to the new axis 3 comma 2 with respect to the new axis so now let us see if the origin is shifted to other point without disturbing or changing the directions of the x-axis then the coordinates actually will change that means the new coordinates will get it with respect to the new system now let us discuss how to find out the new coordinates with respect to the new system so let's have a discussion now so for example here see see if origin is shifted to is shifted to h comma k the point h comma k then new coordinates new coordinates new coordinates or that means capital X comma capital Y equal to we get like this so otherwise we can write like this also for example new coordinates are X comma Y original coordinates are old coordinates original coordinates small x comma y this is the new origin this will be the new coordinates with reference to the new system small x comma y is the actually this is uh, coordinates with respect to the old system original system then this small x is equal to we can write capital X plus H and the small y is equal to we can write capital Y plus K. So these are called equations of equations of transformation equations of transformation. So, what are the equations of transformations in translation of axis? So, that means small x is equal to capital X plus H, small y is equal to capital Y plus K. So, this can be remembered using some cheat code. I will explain the some cheat code to you. So, what is the code means? You remember that code I will give another color. So, you remember this one. Organic chemistry. OC. Are you following? Organic chemistry is not the numerical chemistry, but it has big origin. That means very simple concept. Original coordinates is equal to new coordinates plus origin. So that means you see here, original coordinates. That means actually x comma y equal to new coordinates capital X comma capital Y plus now the origin origin is shifted to H comma K just like matrices these two are the matrices now we get capital X plus H minus capital Y plus K you need not remember this formula simple with the help of this one we can find out solve all the problems related to the translation of axis so all of you remember once again Organic chemistry is not numerical chemistry. It has big origin. So, OC is equal to NC plus O. You remember this one. So, that means now, let us come to this problem now here. See, what are the points actually here? 12, 6. 
origin is actually what point here uh, this is 8 comma 2 see let us find out now here 12 comma 6 12 comma 6 see that means old coordinates are 12 comma 6 origin is equal to 8 comma 2 now you need to find out the new coordinates new coordinates means very simple old coordinates minus origin this from old coordinates subtract this one you will get 12 minus 8 is 4 6 minus 2 is 4 4 comma 4 is the new coordinates so like that easily we can find out okay understood now So now, now the second concept, second concept, the point, the point to which the origin the origin is to be shifted is to be shifted so as to or in order to so as to remove first degree first two degree terms in ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. So now we need to find out the point to which the origin is to be shifted in order to remove the first two degree terms in this equation. That means we need to actually eliminate these two terms. We need to eliminate these two terms. Then to which point the origin is to be shifted in the translation of axis. That origin we need to find out. For example, origin is h comma k or we can say x1 comma y1. We need to find out. For that one actually we follow this process now. Let us say this curve is f a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c you say like this. So first find out the partial derivative with respect to x do f by do x do f by do x is equal to x square differentiation is 2x we get 2ax plus 2hy into differentiation of x is 1 plus by square differentiation 0 2gx differentiation 2g 2fy 0 c 0 so now we get this is 2ax plus 2hy plus 2g 2 common we have ax plus hy plus g okay so now let us find out dou f by dou y partial differentiate with respect to y 0 plus 2 hx into y differentiation 1 so b into 2y plus 2gx differentiation 0 plus 2f into 1 2f plus 0. So this equals to 2hx plus 2by plus 2f take 2 common. We get hx plus by plus f. So next part now equate dou f by dou x equals to 0. We get now 
ax plus hy plus g equals to 0, say equation 1, and dou f by dou y equals to 0. Now we get this is hx plus by plus f is equal to 0. This is second one now. Okay, now solving 1 and 2, solving 1 and 2, so that means how to solve this one now here see the cross multiplication method H G A H B F H B. Here say x1, y1 and 1. So this we can write x1 divided by the determinant of hg bf. That is hf minus bg equals to y1 upon the determinant of this matrix gh minus af equal to 1 divided by so determinant of this one ab minus h square. So we get now x1 comma y1 is equal to hf minus bg by ab minus h square gh minus af by ab minus h square. So this is the point the origin is to be shifted so as to remove the first degree terms. And one more thing, okay, so that means one more thing, these equations very simple, you can remember a hand sum guy a h g a hand sum guy that means a x plus h y plus g is equal to 0 has best friend h x plus b y plus f gone for cinema g f c you remember this one even total conic section and pair of straight line problems can be completed understood now so now, the point to which the origin is to be shifted, so as to remove the first degree terms in ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 is, now you can remember, that is x1 comma y1 is equal to, or h comma k also you can say, hf minus bg by ab minus h square and gh minus af by ab minus h square. Here you remember h square does not equal to ab. So now Next point, important point, if the origin, if the origin is shifted to x1 comma y1, so as to eliminate first degree terms first degree terms in ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx 
plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. Then the transformed equation, then the transformed equation, then the transformed equation is that means if the origin is shifted shifted to this point then definitely this equation will change the transformed new equation you need to find out the equation with respect to the new axis so that will be a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus you remember this one gone for cinema gx1 plus fy1 plus c is equal to 0. This is the equation. Okay, so now let us go to the right. Okay, now you will change the weight now one minute. It's okay now? Okay? Right. So now let us come to the, let's have a discussion on fourth point. Fourth point. The point, the point to which The origin to which the origin is to be shifted is to be shifted is to be shifted so as to remove first degree terms first degree terms in ax square plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 is. Now we need to find out this one now. So we need to find out. Okay. So now, let us say this f equals to ax square plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c. Let us find out dou f by dou x. Dou f by dou x is equal to, I am writing directly 2ax 0 plus 2g, 0 plus 0. Here we have 2 common ax plus g. Now dou f by dou y you find out. So that is 0 plus 2by, 0 plus 2f plus 0. So this will be 2 common. We have by plus f. So, in order to find out, so in order to find out,
okay now in order to find out here do f by do x is equated to 0 so we get <coughs> ax plus g equals to 0 x equals to minus g by a do f by do y equals to 0 that implies here b y plus f is equal to 0 so we get now y is equal to minus f by b so that means now we get point is minus g by a comma minus f by b so this you remember it's very very important while solving the problems so i cannot do anything actually i tried my level best you may be getting okay so now minus g by a comma minus f by b understood now so let us move to next concept fifth concept the point to which the origin the origin is to be shifted is to be shifted is to be shifted so as to remove so as to remove first degree terms first degree terms in two H X Y plus two G X two F Y plus C equals to zero is for example if the equation is like this then what is the point to which the origin is to be shifted that we need to evaluate it now okay okay use your phones better so now Let us say f is equal to 2hxy 2gx plus 2fy plus c. Find do f by do x. So, differentiating partially with respect to differentiate with respect to x partially yes here good okay this will be 2hy into 1 plus 2g into 1 2g plus 0 plus 0 here 2 common hy plus g next find do f by do y so that means find the partial differentiation of f with respect to with respect to y now so that means now here you get 2 h x into y differentiation 1 2 g x 0 2 f into y differentiation 1 c 0 so 2 common we have hx plus f in order to find out uh, the new origin dou f by dou x equated to 0 
and dou f by dou y is equated to 0. So if you equate, you will get now here, dou f by dou x is equal to 0 means you get uh, y equals to minus g by h. Here x is equal to minus f by h. So now, here we can write uh, formula minus f by h this will be minus g by h this you remember transformed equation will be in this form 2xy plus constant is equal to 0 that means if you shift the origin to this point the equation becomes like this only two terms it becomes right As in general, basically use this formula, but we can derive the formula using partial differentiation itself only. Partial differentiation is very easy method. Very easy method. Right. So next, so now for example, Now you take another line segment. Okay. Now this axis this axis are rotated through an angle theta now you get that this is the origin for example say o ox and oy this is called rotation of axis rotation of axis that means if the axis are rotated with an angle of the theta in an anti clockwise direction so without changing the axis without shifting the origin so without shifting the origin if you rotate the axis with a summer angle that is called rotation of axis understood now so now so we shall move to the next concept now So rotation of axis, rotation of axis, for example, let the axis are rotated, rotated through an angle Throw an angle theta without disturbing origin, without shifting the origin, shifting the origin. So 
to then we can follow the co coordinates we can find out like this so this is new coordinates capital x capital y this you take small x small y this will be new this will be old coordinates so now you can remember like this this is cos theta theta is the rotation angle of rotation cos theta differentiation with respect to theta right on minus sin theta here sin theta here sin theta differentiation cos theta right on. so that means here we get the equations like this small x is equal to capital x cos theta minus capital y sin theta small y is equal to capital x sin theta plus capital y cos theta this is one of the way even we can write capital x also new coordinates if you want to find out small x cos theta plus small y sin theta and capital y equals to minus x sin theta small x sin theta plus small y cos theta so with the help of this table so easily we can find out the new coordinates old coordinates if the axes are rotated through an angle theta so you need to remember this one this is very very important next point the angle the angle through which the axis ought to be rotated ought to be rotated so as to remove or eliminate second degree terms or xy term in ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 is theta is equal to half tan inverse of if a equals to b this is very very important please remember this one very very important so one more important point i will discuss for example this ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is put in this form the first form what is the form x is equal to c form then angle of rotation theta is given by the formula tan inverse of b by a same this is put in the form of y is equal to something c then angle of rotation theta is equal to tan inverse minus a by b so these are the concepts so we need to remember while doing the problems i hope you might have followed all the instructions all the concepts whatever i have given regarding to the translation of axes have you understood all of you now okay thank you so now let us solve the problems now let us proceed for the problems
so problem number 1 <coughs> origin is shifted origin is shifted to the point to the point without changing the directions or direction direction of the axis of the axis then 4 comma 3 is transformed to is transformed to or change it to transform to first option 3 comma 1 second option we have 5 comma 5 third option we have minus 3 comma minus 1 fourth option we have 2 comma minus 1 this is the question question is very lengthy but answer is only just one second we will complete it now so now origin is shifted to this point this is the new origin so now these are old coordinates so that means generally you can say like this h comma k is 1 comma 2 small x comma y original coordinates 4 comma 3 now the new coordinates capital X comma capital Y we need to find out. So we have small x is equal to capital X plus H and small y is equal to capital Y plus K. But we need capital X. Capital X is equal to small x minus H. That means what is small x? 4 minus 1 that will be 2 1 therefore capital X comma y is equal to 3 comma 1 but easiest method shortcut method what is the shortcut method means organic chemistry is not numerical chemistry it has big origin so new coordinates is equal to old coordinates minus origin old coordinates are 4 comma 3 minus origin shifted to 1 comma 2 just like difference of the matrices 4 minus 1 3 3 minus 2 1 3 comma 1 this is tip easy tip so first option is the right option Right. Next, we go for next problem. Second question. If the point, if the point three comma minus two. 3 comma minus 2 transformed transformed to minus 2 comma 1 when origin origin 
shifted to P or R is any shifted. R is any shifted to P. That means point P. Then P is equal to. Then P is equal to. First option 3 comma 2. Second option pi comma minus 3. Third option is 2 comma minus 3. Fourth option we have minus 1 comma 2. First we need to decide in the given question. What are given? Here that is very very important criteria need to be remembered. If the point 3 comma minus 2 is changed to minus 2 comma 1 that means these are the original coordinates these are the new coordinates so by virtue of shifting the origin to the point p now that means origin we need to find out here solution both methods i will do this is shortcut method this original method we have small x comma y is equal to capital x comma y plus h comma k this we have small x comma y means actually 3 comma minus 2 equal to here capital x comma y minus 2 comma 1 plus h comma k we need to find out h comma k is p so suppose say this is p point so p equals to 3 comma minus 2 and minus minus 2 comma 1 so this will be 3 minus of minus 3 plus 2 and minus 2 minus 1 that will be 5 comma minus 3 or easy method let us proceed for tip what is the tip oc original coordinates is equal to new coordinates plus origin so origin is p so p is equal to old coordinates minus new coordinates that means you need to subtract this one from this one so that's why we get here 3 minus of minus 3 plus 2 comma minus 2 minus 1 answer is 5 comma minus 3 so second option is the right option So that means actually these are all old uh, original coordinates, this new coordinates, this is the origin. So origin we need to find out. One minute. Okay. Now let us move to the third problem now. third problem so first let us discuss about the problem first if 7 comma 5 are the coordinates coordinates of p in the new system in the new system in the new system when the origin when the origin is shifted to 
is shifted to minus 5 comma 3 then then the virginal coordinates virginal coordinates virginal coordinates of phi are first option minus 1 comma 2 second option 1 comma minus 5 third option is 2 comma 8 fourth option 4 comma 1 so let us do directly now already we have practiced see this 7 comma 5 are the coordinates of the p in the new system that means these are new coordinates when the origin is shifted to this point this is origin now the original coordinates of p oc you need to find out we have the tip old coordinates is equal to new coordinates plus origin what we need to find out original coordinates new coordinates is 7 comma 5 plus origin is minus 5 comma 3 adding these two what do you get now here 7 minus 5 comma 5 plus 3 that is 2 comma 8 is the required coordinates so third option Sridhar, Sridhar, okay, one, one time is enough, Sridhar. Sridhar, you might be new to my class. One time is enough. Okay. Fourth problem. Fourth problem. If cos alpha comma cos beta are new coordinates, new coordinates, new coordinates of P of P when the axis when the axis when the axis are translated are translated to the point to the point 1 comma 1 Then the then the virginal coordinates virginal coordinates of PR. So we need to find out virginal coordinates of P. First option. 2 cos square alpha by 2, 2 cos square beta by 2, second option, 2 sin square alpha by 2, 2 sin square beta by 2, third option, 2 cos alpha by 2, 2 cos beta by 2 and fourth option we have 2 sin of alpha by 2 2 sin of beta by 2 this is the problem right thank you thank you thank you thank you see the cos alpha comma cos beta are new coordinates that means this is NC, numerical chemistry. Uh, axes are 
translated to the point this is the origin now the virginal coordinates that means actually we need to find out oc so what is the relation we have oc is equal to nc plus origin okay that means now you need to add that sal new coordinates is cos alpha cos beta plus origin origin shifted to 1 comma 1 that's all you get 1 plus cos alpha comma 1 plus cos beta just 1 plus cos theta formula add down that is 2 cos square theta by 2 2 cos square alpha by 2 comma 2 cos square beta by 2 that's all it's very simple so first option option 1 is correct okay so once again to the all the viewers please do not chart your personals or actually what i have observed means you will be giving your phone numbers and etc don't give like that because now the situation is not good so because during this situation better concentrate on the subject itself only right so if anybody like that you will be kept aside right fifth problem to remove to remove x and y x and y terms of the equation that means first degree terms of the equation 14x square minus 4xy plus 11y square minus 36x plus 48y plus 41 equals to 0. The shifted origin is the shifted origin is the shifted origin is first option 1 comma 3 fourth option you have 1 comma minus 2 that means we need to find out the point to which the origin is to be shifted so as to remove the first two degree terms of 14x square minus 4xy plus 11y square minus 36x methods formula method are minus 9. That means one equation will be 7x minus y minus 9 is equal to 0. This is equation 1. You substitute the options in this one. Verification. First option. 7 minus 3 minus 9 does not equal to 0. So, first option is not correct. Go to second option. So, minus 28 and minus 3 minus 9. This does not equal to 0. Second option has been eliminated. Go to third option. So, minus 7 minus 2 minus 9 does not equal to 0. Third option has been eliminated. Go to fourth option. 7 plus 2 minus 9, 9 minus 9, 0, yes. So, fourth option is the right option. Okay, one minute, I will check it now. Yes, good. Okay, connection is good. Right now, let us move to the next question now. For example, you may have one doubt. You may have one doubt. So, what is the doubt means? Uh, only, uh, for example, if two or three options will satisfy the one equation, then what shall we do? Then, 
we need to find out dou f by dou i is equal to 0. In that equation, the remaining two options are to be checked. At that time, only one option will satisfy. That will be the final answer. That need to be done instead of solving this problem. Next one, sixth question. To remove, to remove the first degree, the first degree, the first degree turns. of the equation of the equation of the equation 2xy plus 4x minus 2y plus 7 is equal to 0 the shifted origin is the shifted origin is this will be formula is easy better than partial differentiation also 2 comma minus 1 second option will be minus 1 comma 2 third option will be 1 comma minus 2 fourth option will be minus 2 comma 1 C to remove the first degree terms of the equation. So if you compare this equation to comparing comparing with 2hxy plus 2gx plus 2fy 2fy plus c equals to 0, 2h equals to 2, 2g equals to 4, 2f equals to minus 2. Now h will be 1, g will be 2, f will be minus 1. Now the shifted origin, origin is equal to formula we have minus f, by, f upon h minus g upon h so that means minus of minus plus 1 by h 1 minus 2 by h is 1 this will be 1 comma minus 2 so third option is the right option so narendra you are new okay you need to subscribe first Right. Seventh question. The point, the point to which the origin origin is to be shifted is to be shifted is to be shifted to eliminate eliminate to eliminate x and y terms of the equation equation 4x square plus 9y square minus 8x plus 36y plus 4 is equal to 0. 
फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज वन कामा थ्री सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज माइनस फोर कामा थ्री थर्ड ऑप्शन इज माइनस वन कामा टू फोर्थ ऑप्शन इज वन कामा माइनस टू दिस इज द क्वेश्चन सो वे आर मिसिंग श्रीनिवास the point to which the origin is to be shifted so as to remove first degree terms in this equation so this can be done actually four ways but one of the ways is actually formula method is better for this one see comparing with the, comparing with the, ax square plus by square Plus two g x plus two f y plus c equals to zero. Here a equals to four, b equals to nine. Am I correct now? Two g is equal to minus eight. Directly I will write g equals to minus four. Two f is equal to thirty six. F is equal to eighteen. Now the origin formula. Origin to be shifted. Origin is equal to minus g by a, comma minus f by b. What does g stands for? Minus g minus into minus plus four upon four. F is eighteen minus f minus eighteen by b. B is nine. So we have one comma minus two. So Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. This is third option. So our option will be fourth option. Nazir Gold, you seem to be new. You need to subscribe. Saida, yourself also. Priti. Akshmaya is enough on time. <coughs> Eight problem. Eighth problem. When zero comma zero, that means origin shifted to shifted to two comma minus two, the transformed the transformed. the transformed equation of equation of x minus 2 whole square plus y plus 2 whole square equals to 9 is first option x square plus y square is equal to 9 Second option, x square plus 3y square is equal to 9. Third option, x square plus y square minus 2x plus 6y equals to 0. Fourth option, 4x square plus 9y square. Nine y square is equal to thirty six. When zero comma zero shifted to two comma minus two, 
the transformed equation of x minus 2 whole square plus y plus 2 whole square is equal to 9 is. So that means actually here the equation with respect to the new axis we need to find out if the origin is shifted to the point 2 comma minus 2. New origin is 2 comma minus 2 that means with reference to the new axis the equation definitely will change. The new equation need to be evaluated here. So that means here solution we have. So small x comma y is equal to we have this relation x comma y plus h comma k. This small x comma y is equal to we can write x plus h. Here capital X this will be 2 comma 2. So capital X plus 2 comma capital Y minus 2. So that means in the place of small x you substitute this value. In the place of small y you substitute this one. Now transformed equation is transformed equation is so capital X plus 2 minus 2 whole square plus capital Y minus 2 plus 2 whole square equal to 9. Plus 2 square plus 2 minus 2 gets cancelled, minus 2 plus 2 gets cancelled. We have capital X square plus capital Y square is equal to 9. No problem. Generally the locus you will write that will be X square plus Y square is equal to 9. Either it may be in capital letters or small letters, no problem. So first option is the right option. So what's your doubt, Srinu? So Arshad Reddy, today only you joined. Okay. Sir, can I give more important to second year syllabus for MCA? No, not at all like that. I already analyzed your question paper. First year and second year will be given same weightage. So ninth, if the axis if the axis are rotated are rotated through an angle through an angle. of 45 degrees of 45 degrees and the point and the point P has new coordinates new coordinates Two root two comma root two. Then the virginal virginal coordinates virginal coordinates of P R. First option 1 comma 3, second option is minus 1 comma 3, third option 3 comma 1, fourth option we have 3 comma 3. Sir, could you please bring more videos on cracking sums in 30 seconds? I am new in our channel, by the way. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
so because that can be applicable for only few problems uh, nana uh, because i need to give the content also so that's why i started content so that can be done later okay axes are rotated through an angle of 45 degrees that means this problem is related to rotation of axis theta is equal to 45 degrees given and the new coordinates are given that means capital x comma capital y equal to 2 root 2 comma root 2 and original coordinates original coordinates means small x comma small y we need to find out see we have the box let us write so what is the box we have relationship box capital x capital y small x small y this is cos theta this is minus sin theta this is sin theta 